Hi guys, hope you all are doing good. So today I'm gonna teach you guys the intro riff of my band Ginger Feet's a song called Make Your Stand. So this is a song that was released back in 2016 and um, I've been getting a lot of requests from uh, enthusiastic guitar players to you know um, go ahead and make a tutorial and finally you know got some time off and I'm just laying it down for you guys. So hope you guys um, enjoy this and uh, stay tuned till the end thank you so the first part starts off with some chords okay the riff is based in the chords itself so first we start with the b minor seventh chord so b minor seventh chord is a b minor here right but we just remove the pinky becomes a b minor seventh so we just start off like this okay Okay. I'll just play it slowly for you. Okay, so we have to just keep this rhythm pattern going. Okay, the rhythm pattern remains the same for the entire first part of this riff. Okay, so this rhythm pattern again applies to the second chord that is a B minor 7th sharp 5 chord. Okay. Okay. So the first chord was, second was, the third is the E minor 7th chord, okay so, and the fourth chord is a E 7th chord, okay, so basically four chords there, B minor, B minor seventh, B minor seventh sharp five, E minor seventh, and E seventh. Okay. So when you play this on time, it sounds. Okay. So again, I'll repeat the chords. The chords are B minor seventh. B minor seven sharp five, E minor seven, and an E seventh chord. Okay, so you basically put it into one rhythm pattern, and that's the first half of the intro. Now the second half of the intro, you will be taking basically the same chords, and then breaking it down. Okay. Okay, one more time. One more time on speed. Now I will break this down note by note. All right. The first part of this is you're basically playing the B minor chord again. So you're playing seven on the sixth string, nine on the fifth string, nine on the fourth string, and again nine on the fifth string, seven nine on the fourth string. 
right? Then again, seven on the sixth string, nine on the fifth string, nine on the fourth string, nine on the fifth string, seven nine on the fourth string, seven nine on the fourth string. So. Second, we are just taking a G major triad starting from 10 on the 5th uh, string, 9 on the 4th string, and 7 on the 3rd string. So you just play it in this combination, right? Just playing it slowly. Okay, just combining the first and the second. Okay, now comes uh, the third one, okay, third pattern. So basically it is the E power chord, right? You play the first finger on the fifth string, uh, seventh fret, ninth fret on the fourth string, and ninth fret on the third string, right? So then, Okay, I'll play it slowly. So each part, right? So you have to take each part and learn. Okay, so again, ninth, seven on the fifth string, ninth on the fourth string, ninth on the third string, seven nine, seven nine on the third string. Okay, so when we combine all these three, okay, then the last part of the intro riff is this one. You play an E7 chord, right? Root 3 and flat 7 here. You just do this, right? And combination of E7 chord you play, and you play this combination of strings. So, 7 on the 5th string, 6 on the 4th string, 7 on the 3rd string again. Okay, so I'll just do this slowly. Slower. Then second part. The third part. Fourth part. Playing it fast again. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys uh, liked the video. And I hope you guys would have been able to play the parts as well. So if you want to play the rest of the song and if you want you know to learn the rest of the song please do let me know on the comment section and i will be more than happy to make the video of the rest of the song for you guys also don't forget to check out my band ginger feet all the songs are available and uh, they're on all uh, you know online digital streaming platforms till then keep rocking and please don't forget to subscribe and share keep supporting